This past week, 65 years after its release, Brenda Lee's iconic song, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, hit number one on the Billboard 100. At 78 years old, Lee is the oldest artist to have a number one hit, and she has the record for the longest span between number one hits at 63 years. But few know that Brenda Lee got her start thanks to a big Ozark's Life break. Again, friends, we send you a big Saturday Night Hello from Springfield, Missouri, because it's time for Ozark Jubilee. In the infancy of KY3, a little show called Ozark Jubilee was recorded and distributed across the nation. It had some of the biggest names at the time. So you better watch out, you pretty little girls, I'm stepping out tonight. West Plains' own Porter Wagner was a star, and so was its host, musician Red Foley. In 1956, Red was introduced to Brenda Lee through a friend in Georgia, and he knew she had to be on Ozark Jubilee. So they would literally ride the bus from Augusta, Georgia, all the way to Springfield, she and Brenda and her mom. Uh, I think they'd leave Friday afternoon after school got out, and they'd get here in time for the rehearsals on Saturday afternoon here in Springfield, and then they'd turn around and ride the bus back, getting back late Sunday, so that Brenda could go to school on Monday morning. Over the years, historian Wayne Glenn has posted pictures of Brenda Lee on his old record collector Facebook page. A few years ago, he came across what he says is a copy of Brenda Lee's Ozark Jubilee contract, a five-year deal to appear on the TV show. The little star moved to Springfield, and the home address of Brenda is right there, 759 South Avenue in Springfield. Today, it's a parking lot. The home or apartment is no longer here. But thanks to the restoration of hours of Ozark Jubilee episodes by the Missouri State University Libraries, we have some of those shows today. And the story goes that Red was just mesmerized, uh, gobsmacked maybe, by <laughs> hearing Brenda sing. Uh, she was 11 at the time. But Springfield wasn't home for long. The story goes that Brenda and her mother broke their contract after just over a year. And although the little girl was gone, the young lady would return for appearances on the popular show. Brenda called Springfield home from the spring of 1956 until the summer of 1957. After that, it was off for a record deal in Nashville. And a year later, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree was recorded in 1958. And Christmas wouldn't be the same without her timeless song. And it's, I'm just so happy for her now that she's finally got Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree as number one on the Billboard charts. So. <laughs> 65 years after it was recorded. And there you have it, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, recorded one year after Brenda Lee left Springfield. Uh, Tom interviewed her a few years ago for a book he's been writing on the history of the Ozark Jubilee, and he said she is very gracious. We have a link to the MSU Ozark Jubilee collection in this story, and Wayne Glenn just posted more photos of Brenda on his old record collector Facebook page. A link to that also in this story.